Now your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast. Supported by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. We've seen a lot of storms across the area this morning. Now we're left with a lot of clouds around, a little bit of a north breeze, and temperatures way below normal so far uh, this afternoon. And there's look at radar. So down below, we've got the front that moved through this morning, a weak for late season front once again. And showers still possible behind that front as we go through this afternoon, but they really start to taper off as we get late in the afternoon into this evening. Still seeing some light rain, some moderate rain there around the island across parts of southeastern Cameron County. And earlier we saw another little batch of some heavier rain from about Rio Grande City over towards Sullivan City, right in between there, and still some lingering showers just across parts of central uh, Star County. Here is some of the rainfall totals. Now, this was over the last hour and a half, two hours ago, where we had the flood advisory for portions of southeastern Cameron County. In the blue shades here, we had a close to an inch of rain. That's just east of San Benito, just north of Los Fresnos, and over towards Bayview. Radar estimating about two and a half to three inches of rainfall. And then further north, this was earlier this morning, right on the coastal areas of Willsey County, is up over three inches of rainfall estimated by radar. And we have seen some pockets of some heavier rain across the area. And this is also applies to Stark County. That was earlier this morning as well, anywhere from an inch to two inches of rain. And that applies also to northern parts of Hidalgo County. It was good to see some of that rain across southeastern Cameron County. That's where we still need to see a lot of rain to get out of that drought condition that continues. Severe weather outlook for this afternoon tonight. Not looking for anything other than potentially some strong storms here and there, but the severe weather risk has really diminished. We're just in that non severe light green here across the map, and that should take us all the way through tomorrow as well. Highs today will be in the mid and upper 80s to near 90 degrees if we can get some breaks in the clouds, some sun, but I don't think we're going to see much of that. So keeping us below normal for today, inland and also along the coast, low to mid 80s from the island up to Port Mansfield. 60% chance of showers and storms for earlier this afternoon, and then you're going to see it really start to drop off as we get late in the afternoon. Afternoon, early evening down to about 30%. North northeast winds 5 to 15 miles an hour. Normal valley average high is 92. So the front is down towards the south. Eventually it's going to start making its way back north as a warm front. That's going to be tomorrow, tomorrow evening, and that's going to keep us in with some instability and a chance for some showers and storms tomorrow, although just a 30%. Uh, chance, but then that front will disappear in an area of low pressure and the trough will develop just offshore. That's going to keep us in a better chance for showers and storms on Sunday. Some of those showers and storms could produce some heavy rainfall. And here's your forecast rainfall from this particular computer model. This would be from now until Sunday evening and still looking at some potential rainfall totals of anywhere from a half to inch and a half of rain. Some locally higher totals though are possible. There's your drought monitor issued yesterday. Still looking extreme across far southeastern Cameron. That's where we saw some rain uh, just about a couple hours ago, so it's good to see that. Tropical outlook looking pretty quiet across the Atlantic, except for this area right here. Hurricane Center giving this section here a 50% chance of development to at least a tropical depression over the next uh, five days. If it becomes a tropical storm, it would be named Cristobal, and that would be the third one to develop so far this season. There's your seven day forecast then with the weekend always in view and your rain chances to uh, down tomorrow back up on Sunday and we keep them all the way through the next seven days.